That's a lovely ball through the middle. Going to have to be dealt with here. Chawinga's got rounder. Chawinga's going to have a go. That left foot letting her down. And, and at first I was thinking, this is great. United have let them have the ball. They've resorted to the long ball. They're not going to get on that. But Chawinga's got through in between May Letizia Day and Riviere. Got on the back shoulder of Letizia and in between her and Riviere. Really good touch by her. But just not enough on it. And finds Jade Riviere at the opposite end of the field here. Is going to get this into Jay Z. Jay Z with the effort. It's just over the bar. Well, excellent football from Manchester United. That little spell there where she got back, recovered, was able to play the ball back to Mary Herbs, and then we saw her athleticness get up the pitch, plays a nice ball. In well, Jade Riviere up against Chewinga, loses that foot race. Chewinga with the effort, big save, Mary Herbs. Comes back out though. Opportunity, finish. Manchester United are behind. Lika Martins. 1 0 on the night, 2 1 aggregate. Yeah, that's really disappointing. As United were coming into the game, we've just seen that counter. It was a really quick transition from Karshui on that left hand side. Sorry, from Chewinga on that left hand side initially. Wins the race between her and Riviera and puts in a really nice, powerful shot. One by Blundell. Two. Going to give this back to Leah Golton. Now a chance for Manchester United. Looks to get it across. It was the right decision to try and pull it back from Leah Golton. Can't quite get there against Chewinga. Chewinga's going to look for the early ball across. Just puts too much on it. That's going to allow Manchester United to get back into position. And Blundell does really well. Uh, it was a wayward pass by Chewinga, but Baltimore really... 15 minutes or so. Gayoro floats one in. Dangerous ball. Header goes up. Roof of the net. I'm so surprised Gayore hasn't dribbled in there. She had so much space in front. You can see here on the replay, look at all that space she's got. She decides to go with a, a driven cross, and I, I think that's a real let-off pause as Baltimore has to go back. Karshawi has all the time in the world, though, to get this cross in and skims the roof of the net. We can see there, look, Narsland is by far the nearest per player. She's got to be busting a gut to get across there to put some pressure on Karshawi. Picks this up. Or goes past one. Malar's going to have a strike from distance, and it was always bending away from goal just for a moment as it left her foot. It was well struck. Yeah, it's good strength and good skill by Malar. Chewinga looking to roll and turn Riviere. Does really well. And now attacking the penalty area. Lovely bit of skill from Chewinga. Jay Riviere dives in, doesn't make contact. Chewinga lifts one into the box. Just about. He seemed to just wave of attack of attack that. Hopefully United can can get given, through. Given away, Jay-Z. Jay-Z has Toon. Toon with the opportunity. Pulls a shot. Well, Ella Toon in that position. You would have put your house on it, wouldn't you? Ella put her laces through that one. See what happened to D Almeida in this as well. As she comes back here, slides in. Emergency loan. <laughs> Might just be quick enough. It's the opportunity for Ella Toon again, and as she slides this through, Toon takes it on on the instep of her right foot. Maybe Manchester United have one more opportunity. Ella Toon, has she drifted offside? No, says the official on that far side. Half-time whistle goes, and it's Lika Martins who is the difference between these two sides, despite Ella Toon's late opportunity to make it one apiece. Paris Saint-Germain causing... So, no changes of personnel at the half-time interval. Going to try and go around the outside of Corbin Albert. Gets the byline, pulls it back. Really dangerous! Manchester United with a blistering start to the second half. What a fantastic goal. And who involved? Jay-Z down that right-hand side. Does really well, nice, strong. Just palms off Karshawi with a left hand and gets a really good driven across into the box on the floor. And it opens up for Narsland. Deal with Chewinga will be second job, and here she comes again. Skips away from both, pulls it back. Oh, dearie me, Manchester United have conceded inside 60 seconds. And it's Chewinga's run down the left-hand side. Pulled back into the middle, not dealt with by Manchester United. Toon's going to look for Galton. Galton with the great run into the penalty area. Chance here for Manchester United. Pulled back, shot from Blundell, turned away by Kijanek. By Kijanek in goal. Fantastic pullback by Leah Galton. It's a lovely pullback. Blundell and gets it out to the right hand side. Baltimore into the penalty area. Dangerous run. 
what a goal. What an absolutely absurd finish from Sandy Baltimore. Incredible. And Paris Saint-Germain are in the driving seat. Manchester United are struggling. Trailing 4-2 on the night. 3-1 uh, on the night. 4-2 on aggregate. An unreal finish from Sandy Baltimore. Yeah, this run, this right, right hand side. Difficult to score from that range. She was looking for options and it kind of at this point the United players had, had stopped. He did a, an option to pull that back to. Jay-Z's done brilliantly. Jay-Z looks to get it across. Deflects away. He's going to be a corner. Turn Manchester United's fortune. Jay-Z somehow ball sticks to her feet again, then goes down under the challenge. That is going to be a free kick. A rolling a player, isn't she? There, you can see one. She managed to keep the ball at her feet, like you say, super glue, and that was the, the best one. Kijanek ready. Here comes Zellum, goes oh. in for the near post, it's just wide. And you can hear the reaction from Lindsay Johnson because it was ridiculously close to sneaking in at that far post. Yeah, I, I did think it was going in, it was a really well worked free kick by Zellum. Zellum. Dangerous ball in again, headed towards goal, it's in! Manchester United have got one back. No, they haven't. It's a push from Leah Galton. Free kick is given Paris Saint-Germain's way. And I don't know about you or whether it's my red-tinted glasses. Well timed from Leah Galton, we're just seeing this. She's not, there's nothing wrong with that. Our arms are down by the side of her body. You can see it here. That's, that's a fantastic goal by Leah Galton. Galton in there again, here comes the ball, it's Turner with the header, just a looper rather than a bullet. Oh, Corbin Albert's giving it away, Lucia Garcia has Jay-Z with her, going to poke this through, Jay-Z with the opportunity, can she get it away? Cleared by Paris Saint-Germain, so good, the Paris Saint-Germain defenders. Just going to have a, a hold up here. Pops back out to Zellum. Zellum slides it through to Galton. Galton with the effort. Hits it really well, but it's directly at Katarina Kitchener. To get that shot on goal. But... Neil Letizia. Rach Williams. Chance for Toon! Oh, it's off the post. Well, if you want to know how Manchester United's second half has gone, everything that could have gone against Manchester United in the second half has done. That is a great effort from Ella Toon all the way to the byline. And blows the final whistle. And despite Lisa Niles and early goal in the second half to bring Manchester United level, a quick fire double from Lika Martins and Sandy Baltimore. And it means that the full-time score from the Parc des Princes is a disappointing one for Manchester United. Paris Saint-Germain three. Manchester United won.